Hello again, Friday, Fraud Law Review. Uh, this one, this headline kind of grabbed my attention. Federal jury convicts felon on supervised release of using a fraudulently obtained social security number and theft of social security benefits. Some criminals just never learn, right? Remember that whole thing about dumb, <laughs> dumb criminals? <laughs> there used to be all those jokes or the, or the, the news is pulled from various headlines in the news about this dumb criminal who did this when, you know, usually when they could have gotten away with what they did and then they did something real stupid, probably usually had agreed. And so they didn't get away with it. All right. So here we are, Middle District of Florida. Um, this concerns a, and this person has been found guilty. So I'm going to say the name because you know me, innocent until proven guilty, but he's been proven guilty. Kellis Dion Jackson, age 63. Shame, shame, Mr. Senior. You should be setting a finer example. AKA, so I guess he has um, an alias, Chandler Dante Alexander. That's the fellow. Um, according to the evidence presented at trial, he stole SSI. Now that's the welfare program. That's not social security disability or retirement, but it's the SSI, Supplemental Security Income Welfare Program for the poor and disabled or the poor and aged. It's a very important program um, for those that need it as defined under the rules, not those that think they need it and just really want it. Okay, so um, at the time he did it, he was on federal supervision for prior federal offenses. What a winner. You're just a winner there, Kellis. Um, prior to submitting an application for SSI, Kellis, last name Jackson, obtained a social security number under the fictional identity of Chandler, the Chandler name I mentioned before, by falsely reporting that he had never had a social security number and providing false information regarding his birthday and his parents. I mean, you have to have a little brains, cleverness to do this. So can't you go do something legal with those brains? Okay, because I wouldn't know how to do what he just did. Anyway, Mr. Jackson used the fraudulently obtained SS number to get a commercial driver's license, work, file tax returns, get married, and open bank accounts. Wow. I wonder how long he was doing this for. He thereafter applied for SSI, which is the welfare again, guys, the federal welfare program, and SNAP benefits using his, his own birth name and valid social security number. So he, he worked and made a lot of money under someone else's that he stole. So that his could remain poor, I guess. Um, wow, Jackson made false statements on the SSI application and related documents, including falsely stating that he was not married. Wow, I wonder if his wife left him. What do you think? And his application was approved. His SSI application would not have been approved had he reported his marriage and work activity under the fraudulently obtained SS number. In total, he received over $43,000 in the welfare, the SSI welfare benefit to which he was not entitled. And that is so crappy. I mean, the the guys that, that get SSI, it's such a low amount. H how dare he be taking from that? You know what I mean? Um, not that there's not an endless trough because it's not coming out of the Social Security Fund, which has its protected limits. It, but they just, you know, jack it up on our the working folks' taxes, right? The general fund. Okay. Um they didn't say how long he was doing it for. I mean, 43,000, that would take a few years of it. Because remember, it's less than $1,000 a month. So even if you're getting close to it, it's less than $12,000 a year. And he got over 43,000. So yeah. Um, yeah, they, they're real scant here on the details. But they did say that he, in addition to making the false statements to the federal agency, theft of government property, and fraudulent the use of a social security number he faces hasn't been sentenced yet and the date for sentencing hasn't been set set yet i hope they report back but he, he is looking at a maximum penalty of 10 years in federal prison okay i think you should get at least several of those this is my opinion it wasn't a one-off it was a every month he defrauded the government for all those years you know riding on the coattails of the disabled, the poor, and the aged when he was not. I'm curious if his wife was in on it. How did she not know? How did she not know? Yeah, I bet you she's in on it. And you know, remember we had that recent reporting about Rivez, Rivez, whatever his name is, there was like four videos on it because everyone involved in that, including his own mother, ended up having a different 
OIG report as their case came up. It was kind of interesting. <laughs> and um, it just makes me wonder, did this wife, have, unless she was cognitively in failure, I don't know how you, how you don't know. You know, you're filing tax returns. Your husband's collecting the welfare, you know. I mean, is it conceivable she didn't? I suppose, but I think, I don't know. We'll have to see. See if they report anything. All right. Bye, guys. Happy Friday. TGIF.